Jerry Jones, bring your ass to the front of the congregation. You have some explaining to do. Now, for those who haven't heard yet, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones was standing with a whole bunch of bullies protesting against desegregating their school in 1957 back in Little um, Rock, Arkansas. Now, at the time, Jerry Jones was 14 years old. It's no excuse. No excuse. Absolutely not. Now, Jerry Jones did say that it's him in the picture. And he also said that he did not participate in protesting the integration and looked on curiously without animosity. Now, I want to zoom in on this picture. And I want you guys to tell me, does this look like a kid who was looking on in curiosity? Was, what, do that look like a curious look? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. And to, 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 to make things clearer, it wasn't like he was standing on the side of the black people. He was stand, standing behind the white mob, right? Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. There's something about Jerry Jones that I was never able to to vibe with. I mean, sometimes you could vibe with people, but sometimes you get those little spidey tingling senses that say, nah, this, this person is no good. And I always got that vibe from Jerry Jones. So to be honest, with something surfacing like this, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised if this was the only thing that he participated in. This may have been the only thing that was recorded where people can identify him but I do not believe that this was the only thing that he participated in. At 14 years old, you do know right from wrong when it comes to race. This was 1957. This was a time when blacks were being hung. Churches was being bombed. Uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't eat at the same restaurants. We couldn't drink from the same water fountains. We couldn't use the same bathroom. So Jerry Jones know exactly what's going on here. So him being 14 years old, I do not care about that. There's plenty of black athletes, black people who get in trouble. They be in their 30s, they 40s. The media dig back to when they was 12, 13 and say, look what type of person they was. This is what they was participating in. And th this will be no different. I think that Jerry Jones should look into selling his team. I think that he needs to apologize and he needs to be held accountable for this surfacing. I don't care if this was 80 years ago. It makes absolutely no difference to me. Um, and, and, and it was uncalled for. During that time, the kids knew exactly what it was, right? The other 14-year-olds was protesting. He didn't have to be there. I know plenty of black kids who was just in the crowd of people who did wrong and they got locked up and got the same amount of time. So I don't see no difference here. Now, even when Jerry Jones pulled this stunt, right? It was just something about it that my ancestors was like, this is some shit. It was something about it that made me say that. It was my ancestors speaking to me. I see that now. I thank you, ancestors. I, I truly do. I thank you, ancestors. But um, yeah, I can't support the Dallas Cowboys if I wanted to. And think about it. They called the Dallas Cowboys America's team. I really wonder why. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You think that Jerry Jones should sell his team? You think he should apologize? Or you don't care? Say what you go say. Leave your comment. I'll get you to you guys later. Peace.